As the festive season approaches, we're encouraging more women to do business in the hospitality industry. Take a look. I think when we look at how tourism is looking for the region at the moment, South Africa has historically always done really well. Um, it's got a very developed, well-developed tourism industry. Um, in Southern Africa, we have, you know, a lot of lodges coming up, a lot of destination uh, management companies. What you don't see a lot of is young people running those. And what you see even less of is young African females running um, anything in that industry. And I think, um, you know, as if I look at myself, it's me coming into this industry has been about um, wanting to be part of those who take ownership of the African narrative um, and how the world sees Africa is really important to me, which is why I think it's a great industry to, um, to have put myself in. I know there are many others that are like myself out there, maybe exploring it in different ways, not necessarily safari lodges. Um, but uh, yeah, it's starting to grow for, for people like me. Now, having said that, what opportunities are currently existing within the market space? Okay. Um, listen, I think in terms of accommodation, um, if we're looking at South Africa, it's a very saturated market. Um, however, um, one of the things that the COVID-19 pandemic specifically has shown is um, people were so desperate to get out of, I'll use South Africa as an example, to get out of South Africa because people here have a lot of purchasing power. Um, and we're exploring various other African destinations. Those are the only places they could go. Um, but there's limited accommodation options, um, limited luxury accommodation options. People are used to very high-end places. Um, and then, you know, the services such as um, transportation and logistics, um, all of that falls into this industry, right, and makes it work like a well-oiled machine. Um, restaurants, um, you're seeing a lot of concierge spaces opening up. Uh, those are all opportunities that are opening that I think will also help attract the international traveler when they're ready to come back to Africa. Mm. Now, what's interesting is your passion or your primary focus is on getting Africans to manage and drive the local economy, local tourism economy to be precise. Why is that the case? Um, it's about ownership for me. Um, I think we don't own our stories. We don't, you know, it's, I love going on safari. Um, I love to experience, you know, good things in life, but it also, it bothers me um, when we get to nice properties and the only people of color or the only African people you see are, you know, the lowest level of service providers. Um, and it's interesting, it's, it's because opportunity hasn't been available for them, right? And I think um, for myself, it's, I want to be in this industry to open those doors of opportunity. So we look at um, training, for example, right? Um, we have a property that sits in um, Chisuma Village, which is about 20 minutes outside of Victoria Falls. 90% of our staff, um, which we've already employed before we started operating, just because we want to invest in human capital. 90% um, of them at all levels are from the community. Now, you know, um, some of them were not qualified for some of the positions that we hired them for. But because we're looking at what do we want this community to look like in the next three to five years, the investment that we're making in those individuals is skills. So we're providing them with computer training. We're providing them with access to um, online courses on hospitality, um, professional guiding and all of that. Um, for me, that's why, uh, that's what I'm so passionate about within this industry. Um, and it's, it's, you know, why I've decided to dedicate this period of my life to it. Now, having said that, what should then be the role of regional tourism in terms of uh, promoting local, the local economy? Um, so I think one side of it is obviously um, it's all nice for us to say we want more locals, more um, Africans to travel around Africa. Um, but the other part of it is we want them to, I want my fellow Afri Africans to value what we offer as a continent, right? 
we go to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower, um, a building. Our equivalent of the Eiffel Tower is the fact that we have the Big Five. Like, who else has the Big Five? Um, or that Rwanda has the mountain gorilla. Now, you're willing to go and spend so much money to see a building that's standing. What about these incredible majestic animals that sit on our continent, right? Um, and I think the other part of it is the education that comes from that is if you educate someone about what it means to have the mountain gorilla and what kind of money that can bring into an economy and what that can do for the standard of living, um, people value it more.